In the first part of this module, we will deal with the automatic starting of the engines. Then we will study how to start the engines manually. Engine 2 is started first, then engine 1. Let's start engine 2. The corresponding start valve opens. The fuel is reset to zero. On the engine warning display, N2 increases. It is displayed on a grey background. On the ECAM engine page, the oil pressure increases. At 16% N2, an igniter is powered, A or B. At 22% N2, the fuel starts to flow. We can see the indication on the engine warning display. 15 seconds, maximum, after fuel is on, EGT and N1 increase. At 50% N2, the start valve closes and the ignition is switched off. At approximately 58%, it stabilizes and the grey background disappears, indicating that the start sequence is finished. Engine 2 is now running and all its parameters are stabilized. Notice that the thrust limit mode has changed to TOGA and today the N1 rating limit is 94.1. Engine 1 has also been set to ON, following the same procedure as for engine 2. Engine mode selector has been switched to normal. Both engines are now running and all their parameters are stabilized. We will now see how to start the engines manually. It is described in your FCOM Volume 3 in the Supplementary Techniques chapter. The engine manual start push-button switches control their respective start valves. To start engine 2, raise the guard and select Engine Manual Start 2 push-button switch. This will be done for you. On the Engine Manual Start panel, the on light illuminates blue on the Engine Manual Start 2 push-button switch, indicating that the start valve is open. N2 and oil pressure increase. N2 continues increasing to max motoring speed. At max N2, at least 20%, select Engine 2 Master Switch to ON. This will be done for you. On the ECAM engine page, the fuel used is reset to zero. Both igniters are on. On the engine warning display, fuel flow is increasing. When N2 reaches 50%, start valve closes and ignition stops. At about 58%, it stabilizes and the grey background disappears to indicate that the start sequence is finished. The engine 2 is running and all its parameters are stabilized. Engine manual start 2 push button has been switched off for you. The manual start sequence of engine 2 is finished. If required, engine 1 can be started in a similar manner.